Clint's one of your friends, Hoodle? Alfin! Boy, am I glad to see you safe! Well, did you manage to convince them we're not in league with any lord? Yeah, eventually. When the ship sank, I thought we were done for. Guess the world just couldn't keep us apart. Yeah, and now we can finally go rescue Xion. There's something I need to tell you guys first. I... I got my memory back. So, what did you remember? Are you able to tell us now? Give the man some space, Law. I... I remember being up on Lenicus. Go on. I was abducted from Dana. I was told if I ever wanted to return home, I'd have to cooperate. So... So that's what I did. Next thing I knew, they had made me into the Sovereign. You mean to say you won the Crown Contest? As a Danon? No. They kept me locked in a strange facility. They experimented on me, like I was nothing more than an animal. There were others, but only I survived. Of course, I wasn't really a king. The reality was that they treated me worse even than the lowest slave. The only reason I survived was because my body was able to withstand the Sovereign's power that they placed inside me. The crest that appeared behind you on Almadria's ship must have undoubtedly been that of the Sovereign. It all makes sense now. Your affinity with the Blazing Sword and the strange powers you possess, they were all because you were the Sovereign. Okay, but why would the Renans go out of their way to give you all that power? Just what exactly does being the Sovereign entail? They said it was for something called the Spirit Channeling Ceremony. They taught me how to harness my power for when the big day came. As for what the ceremony was actually for, unfortunately, I... Never found out. So if what you're saying about being on Lenigus is true, then maybe you really did meet Xion. After all, you said you recognized her from somewhere, right? But Xion said she'd never seen him before. How do you explain that? I was wrong. It wasn't Xion I knew from Lenigus. It was Nayori. She was a Renan maiden they paired me with during the spirit channeling ceremony. She's the woman I kept seeing in my dreams. A maiden? What? Wait, so this Nayori figure just happens to be the double of Xion? Bit coincidental, isn't it? Naori's family name was Imeris. Imeris? As in Xion Imeris? So they're distant relatives or something? Wait, or are they sisters? Your guess is as good as mine. All I know is it was Naori. She's the one who put the mask on me. 
The mask? But why? To keep my soul from devouring itself over the guilt. After I... After what I did on Lenicus. Over the lives I took. <gasps> lives? You mean... You staged a rebellion? Perhaps it was a part of this spirit channeling ceremony? I don't know. Whatever it was that the spirit channeling ceremony was supposed to achieve, it didn't turn out as planned. I lost consciousness halfway through. By the time I came to, Lenigus was a sea of flames. I opened my eyes to see Naori there, weeping. shudder to think of how many deaths I caused that day. <laughs> Certainly more than any of these lords can claim, I'm sure. You really expect us to believe this? First the Sovereign, then Lenigus? You couldn't possibly have done all that. I wonder. In ancient scripture, there is tell of a terrible calamity that befell Lenigus nearly destroying it. The restoration took years and required the work of countless laborers. By ancient, you mean... It predates the crown contest to a time before even the first Renan invasion of Dana. More than 300 years ago. 300? But that'd make Alfin... Down, maybe I already knew. Alfin. Some hero, huh? Cooperating with the same villains who snatched me from my home, committing mass slaughter only for it to slip my mind. Then when I finally remember, turns out I'm so old I've got scripture written about me. So much for standing up to injustice. I've probably got more blood on my hands than all the lords combined! Alfin, stop! Honestly, I'm not going to pretend to understand what all this means. But what I do know is that right now, you're just reacting to the shock. Listen, what you really need is time. Time to process things and get your head straight. Truth be told, I think that probably goes for all of us. What about Xion? We can't just... I'm worried about Xion too, Law. But it's clear that Alfin's in no fit state to fight. This is Volron, remember? Even at full capacity, it's practically a suicide mission. We stay put in the village till we're ready. Okay, everyone? Take some time to think things through, okay? But remember, we're all here for you if you need us. No matter how dark things might seem, you're not alone, Alfin. Thank you. It's fine. All right, everyone. Let's break for now. Do I even have the right to fight? Do I 
have the right to go to Xion's rescue? What do the others think? You're certainly full of surprises, aren't you? Trust me, it's not intentional. Sorry, that was insensitive of me. Though, there's still an awful lot I wish I could understand. Every new piece of information seems only to yield further mysteries. The truth feels just as elusive as when we first started. I am well aware of where you got your powers. But why, as a Danon, do you bear the same crest as the current Renan Sovereign? More to the point, why choose a Danon for their sovereign in the first place? <laughs> and then there is the Maiden, a figure so powerful, she's playing yin to the sovereign's yang in esoteric ceremonies. And yet, I've never even heard of her. Then again, this all occurred 300 years ago. What if the term sovereign doesn't even hold the same meaning as it did back then? <sighs> Listen, I may be a traitor among my people, but I am still Renan, born and raised. I learned the same history, listened rapt to the same tales, and yet now I feel like there was little truth to any of it. Speaking of which, there's something else that I remember from the spirit channeling ceremony. It used the Renis Alma. You're certain? Yes, or at least that's what they called it. Only you would know if it was one and the same. Oh, I have never laid eyes on the real artifact myself. And you never participated in a crown contest. You're not even Renan. Many mysteries lay buried in these three centuries past. Three centuries is more than several lifetimes. Was I really out that long? Well, I'm only estimating based on historical record. But all the facts would seem to point that way. Who the hell am I? If I may be frank, we have even bigger fish to fry than that. By comparison, the far more important question at hand is, just what does it all mean? Frank, huh? Sometimes, we need a little help in addressing the truth behind our pain. <sighs> Not to compete over lives lost, but I suspect your count is still somewhat beneath mine. Thanks for lending me an ear, and sorry for being a bother. Please, no thanks are necessary. The quicker you get back on your feet, the sooner we can all get back out there. What do you see out there? Zoogles. Strays by the looks of it. We unwittingly disturbed their territory on our way here, and now they're looking pretty riled up. So, feel like you're making headway? You know, sorting through things? All I know is Xion needs our help. As for what happens after that... <sighs> Say, how did you get back down here from Lenegas anyway? I came down in a Renan starship. I have Naori to thank for that. What happened to her? Did she come with you? She stayed behind. 
Just as I wanted to get back to Dana and my people, Niori's place was with her fellow Renans, performing her duties as the Maiden. Neither of us asked for the power or roles we were given. I suppose we felt a kinship with each other in that sense. But even then... Wait, so you mean it wasn't just Danans like you that Lenigus abducted? You're saying they forced Naori, one of their own, to serve against her will as well? Even within Renan society itself, there exists a hierarchy. I don't think she was ever given the option to refuse. Despite that, she did everything she possibly could to serve her people. The very same ones I ended up slaughtering. And even after that, she still helped me escape back to Dana. <sighs> she stayed behind on Lenigus to help any of her people who survived. I owe her more than words can express. A debt left to fester for what? Three hundred years? How do I even begin to make up for something like that? In all honesty, you don't. You can't atone for what's happened in the past. I don't think anyone can. Be it several centuries ago, or just yesterday. What are you saying? That I might as well give up? I'm saying you don't have to be a white knight in shining armor. <laughs> Back after my brother had passed away, it was you who told me that his dream lived on inside me. And you did the same for him, for Dohalim, when he was ready to give up too. You were there for both of us. You know what I heard? I heard you telling me to keep fighting, to strive no matter what. Then I was out of line. I had no right to ask that of you. No, you're wrong. Those words were exactly what I needed to hear at the time. In fact, I would go as far as to say that I wouldn't even be here had I not heard them. Left to my own devices, who knows when I would have been able to pick myself up. Besides, it's not like killing all those people was a choice that you made of your own free will. Right? The truly terrible ones are the people who abducted you. The ones who forced you to wield that power. They're the ones you should be blaming. Not only that, but that guilt you feel inside? That's all the proof you need to know you're a good person, Elfin. Do you understand? If I'm still allowed to fight and keep on living, then damn it, Alfin, so the hell are you. <sighs> but... If you're still not convinced, then ask yourself this. What is it that you've really been fighting for this whole time? Go on, ask yourself. What I've been fighting for, huh? I thought it was the worrying about Xion and the pain bringing you down. I didn't realize you were lonely too. I guess all of us are, in one way or another. Yeah, but you've only just found out. I mean, no, not found out. Remembered. To tell you the truth, I was actually beginning to forget I'd even lost my memory in the first place. Now that it's returned, I... Well... You can see what I'm like. It's strange. When I think about Lenigus, it still feels like it was only a year or two ago that I was there. But then I realize what feels like years was actually centuries ago. What about your hometown? Do you know if it's still there? I doubt it. When the Renans invaded, the world as I knew it changed overnight. Even if the place is still there physically, I expect the people will be long gone. Certainly everyone I knew, at least. My family. My friends. Yeah. I know how that feels. <clears throat> I have no home to return to either. No family waiting for me. I used to curse my bad luck that I'd ever been born a mage in the first place. Otherwise, if I hadn't, maybe my mother and father would still be alive today. Although if that had been the case, I guess I'd probably still be just another slave, with no means to resist. I'd never have met up with you guys, that's for sure. Have you learned to embrace your powers yet? Nuh-uh. 
I resent them a little less than before, though. They've kept me alive this long, right? I try not to think about it too much. After all, who can predict what the future will hold? I guess what I'm trying to say is that with everything that's happened in your past, finding out you're the sovereign and all, it's no wonder you're conflicted. Heck, honestly, I think anyone would be. Rinwa. First it was Xion, then it was me, and now it's you. All of us suffering, just because of some power we never even asked for. Yeah. All this time you were suffering right in front of me, and I never even knew. I feel like I finally understand what you and Xion were going through. <laughs> you couldn't have known. Still, if you want to make it up to her, shouldn't we hurry it up and rescue her already? Poor Xion must be lonely, all by herself wherever she is. Yeah, you're right. Let's get going. <laughs>